I'm Shari from Little Blue Deer Design and today I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to an image using PicMonkey. And PicMonkey.com is a uh, free or low priced image editing uh, program similar to Canva. I think it's a little bit faster and easier to use. So you can set up an account. If you do not have an account, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Uh, test it out and see what you think. I think it's $7.99 a month if you pay monthly and $3.99 a month if you pay um, on a, I'm sorry, on an annual basis. So very quick and easy. To do this, you're going to start by clicking on the edit button, selecting my computer, and you're just going to upload the image that you want to add the watermark to. And this will open up in the PicMonkey photo editor. And now, to add your watermark, and this tutorial assumes that you've already got your watermark set up, you're just going to click on the little butterfly icon, which is overlays. There's some different overlays that you can use. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use Add Your Own. Once again, this should be the watermark that you've already created. So click on Add Your Own, My Computer. This will open up your file manager. And you can just double click and open up your watermark. I've already created mine for the purpose of uh, this photo, I think. The best place for the watermark is probably to go down here in the lower right-hand corner. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits in and it shows. And now you've got your image and your watermark. And all you need to do is click on Export if you want to save this outside of PicMonkey. You can select a couple of different qualities, um, low, medium and high. This makes your file size larger, but if it's photographs, you probably want to save it as high. And then just click export to computer and you can choose where you want to save it. And that's the end of that tutorial. Masterpiece save. Um, you can do this with as many images as you want. It's very quick and easy to do. And uh, I hope that you find this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in this post. Thanks so much.